Without ADA, we would need an extra 400 agents. My name is Justin Michaud. I'm Director of Customer Care at Life360. I've been in Life360 for almost five years and I've got over 12 years customer service experience. It was very quick when we first deployed ADA to be able to show within months we got our return on investment and the rest was savings. We saw 70% automated resolution almost instantly which is not something that we see with human agents even after training. It's providing 24-7 support, it's answering very quickly, almost instant, and the handle times on those chats are much lower than live agent chats. There's one customer that actually gave us feedback after the fact that because the AI agent asked for a chance to answer their question, they actually asked their question and got the right answer and they were impressed and happy and they actually took the time to to give us that feedback right like so i think culturally more and more people are going to learn that these ai agents actually could help you just give them a shot generally speaking our ai agent is performing on par with agents the ai agent is handling like 150,000 conversations a month my human agents including email and all other channels are only handling like 30,000 a month one of our product features is crash detection and that can be very high touch scenario and in those scenarios we don't want a chat bot or an AI agent to handle those. So basically we've got it trained that it's, it, it, if a customer mentions crash, we hand it to a, to a human agent to be able to give that extra level of empathy, to actually understand what happened, to be able to explain it. I think too many people are still like hesitant and not understanding of it. I think when generative AI was coming out, people were worried about hallucinations and things like that. And the good news with Ada is like, it's trained on your content. The only thing it's gonna hallucinate is your own content, basically. Just like jump in.